is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right, right now. now. Every classroom has been equipped with a five-gallon bucket full of Riverstone. If an armed intruder attempts to gain ad- entrance to any of our classrooms, they will face a classroom full of students armed with rocks. And- there you go. There you. That's that's the way they handle it. Um, you don't have to worry about semi-auto rocks, uh, I guess. Um, you know, I'm not making light of this, other than to say, kids, you're being worked. You're being played. You know, quite honestly, I don't know how the NRA, how did the NRA get involved with this? You think one of these kids brought up the NRA? That's exactly how it happened. Exactly how it happened? One of the kids brought it up? Yeah, they were talking about 17 of their classmates being killed. Well, it's the NRA's fault. You think some kid came up with that? I guarantee you no kid came up with that. The NRA is a terrorist organization, according to the protesters. Trump is worse than Hitler. I'm sorry. Are all the ovens underneath the uh, the White House? I mean, kids, I, I understand, man. You got a right to be upset, but you're getting played big time. And if you don't think the Democrats are using every bit of this, to create new voting blocks, you're laboring under a sad misconception. The NRA represents a small minority, but it has a stranglehold on Leader McConnell, on Speaker Ryan. And if they were simply to let the bills come to the floor, they would pass. Now, who do you think that was? Yes, little Chucky Schumer. That's who that was. Now, in, in, in the big mix... You've got to tell the kids the truth. Kids, you're being played just like the African-American neighborhoods were 50 years ago. You're being used just like the black communities were being used by the Democrats 50 years ago. You're being played just like they played the black community. You're, the only thing different is the issue. Hmm, you say, well, what would it be like if Obama was in office? Would Obama cut through all the the facade? Would he tell these kids exactly what's going on? Would he say, look, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with a gun. It has to do with a value or lack thereof of human life. What, what do you think Obama would have to say? Oh, here he is. Um, a number of the young students in this school, Parkland, organized a rally. They no, they decided didn't. we're not going to be silent victims of the gun violence that is so pervasive in the United States. Uh, We're going to do something about it. And these are young people, they're 16, 17 years old. Uh, And today, there was a march in Washington with hundreds of thousands of people. And these rallies were duplicated all around the world. And this was all because of the courage and effort of a handful of 15 and 16 year olds who took the responsibility that so often adults had failed to take in trying to find a solution to this problem. Uh, and and it's, I think that's a testimony to what happens when uh, young people are giving, given opportunities. Uh, This guy couldn't tell the truth if his life did. They're not 15 and 16 year olds. Um, They've already been uh, gauged at 90%. 90% of all the participants that took place yesterday are able to vote. That's why Chucky Schumer and every other Democrat is falling over themselves, stumbling and bumbling, rolling around, trying to get in front of a camera to tell these kids just how brave you are, just that you're doing exactly the right thing. They're getting played. Kids, you're getting played just like the blacks got played uh, for 50 years. And it's just, that's almost a crime in itself. All right, let's go to Carla in Gainesville. Carla, thanks for waiting. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you, sir? Good. Thank you very much for having me on. I appreciate it. 
I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry. No, you're doing fine. Doing fine. You're doing good. (laughs) Well, I just wanted to say that all these kids that are doing all these marches and protesting and everything, you have every right to do that. But before you do, you need to really understand what you're talking about. They're talking about our president being worse than Hitler, and they have no idea. My mother grew up in Greece with the Nazis' invasion, and you can't even begin to imagine what those people grew up with and lived with and died with. She walked to town every day, hoping she got there in time to have some milk and bread left. Some days it was there, and some days it wasn't. Some days they had nothing. She walked around people that were dying or had already died as a little girl. You know, I mean, they just, her father was walked to the firing squad. You, you just, you, you covered your windows in dark and tried to be very quiet, hoping that nobody was coming to your door. And you looked over your shoulder all the time because somebody was going to tell one of the police or Nazis that you were a traitor and off you went. That was the end of you. It just, they have, and that's just kind of a tiny glimpse into the kind of life that she grew up with. And she's not the only one by any means. And she was fortunate enough not to have to go to any kind of concentration camp or anything like that. I mean, really stop and open your eyes before you start to talk about how bad we have it here. We're so blessed to be here and to live in a place where we have the right to say what we think, whether we know what we're talking about or not. But that's not what kids are being taught today. They're being taught the uh, diametrically opposed narrative to that. Um, It is so true. I mean, we're the root of all evil. We're, uh, you know, we're the aggressor. Uh, We, uh, you know, I have a friend whose parents were Holocaust survivors, still had the tattoos on their wrists. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they would take exception with the statement Trump is worse than Hitler. But these yeah. are kids. These are teenagers, and they haven't been taught anything when they it comes to yeah. the country. Yeah, they have no idea about our history or anyone else's history. All they know is somebody hurt their feelings or somebody said something they didn't like or there's a big rally. Let's go. And, you know, I understand that and I get it. But the next step. Um, the next step are all these woefully uninformed on this issue, maybe not in science and math and so on, but on this issue, all these woefully uninformed teenagers are going to now go vote. What do you think they're going to vote for? I'm terrified. I'm terrified that that's my future. Those are the kind of people that are going to decide where I'm going to be as an old person and what my grandchildren are going to be involved in. Well, the, you know, the black community this last election, they finally said enough is enough. Uh, yeah. You've been promising everything for the last half century. We have voted for you almost exclusively, um, way over 90%. Uh, we get a toy at Christmas, a turkey at Thanksgiving. You drive off in your new SUV to the, uh, you know, the, the nice homes that are in the suburbs. You haven't done anything for our community. The schools are in shambles. The infrastructure is crumbling. Uh, the black community finally got it, and I'm afraid it's going to take that same course of action with these young people. This is a national movement. There's no doubt yes. about it. Yes, they, they, they stopped reaching the black community because they've opened their eyes and they see what's happened to them in their belief of that group, and now they're after the children because they haven't experienced any of that. All they know is what they've been told by someone in a small group who has a loud voice. And they've been organized, manipulated, choreographed by the left. You know, I'll say this out loud. The Democrats were, for the last 50 years, the new slave masters of the 21st century. They were. Why? Because they tried to control people by what? Taking away their hope. They're going to do the same thing to kids in reverse. You are the new wave. You are the new revolution. Uh, This is what you say. This is how you vote. This is what this is about. So if you've got a 17, 18-year-old, don't let them get played like this.
You know, they don't have to vote for Republicans if they don't want, but don't let them be the fodder, the political fodder of a political party.